Hey everyone and welcome to another quick Kajabi tutorial. My name is Rebecca Austin and we like to talk about all things Kajabi, marketing and growing your online business. Now today I want to talk to you about another part of your search engine optimization. This is part four of our five point five part video series on search engine optimization. If you missed the other videos in the series, feel free to check them out so that you can get all of the different steps and elements of building a rock solid search engine optimization for your Kajabi site. Now we've already talked about your on-site SEO. We've talked about technical SEO. Today, I want to talk to you about off-site SEO. So what exactly does that mean? Well, essentially, when we are working on our SEO strategies for your Kajabi site, we want to be continually building relevance and authority with search engines. What that means is that we want to show search engines that we know what we're talking about, that we are an expert for our niche, and that when we have potential people that are out there looking for content that that the search engine should send them to us to get the information that they're seeking. So when they, we do that, the offsite search engine optimization or SEO strategies include things like backlinks. That is still, even though the algorithms with search engines are constantly changing from the very beginning all the way through current times, backlinks are still an important part of that algorithm. And the reason for that is because backlinks and are uh, um, essentially what are backlinks? Backlinks are links from other places outside of your site that are linking back to your site. So the more and the highest quality and the more reputable the site that is linking to your site, the better authority that the search engines see that you have. Now, this step can sometimes be a little bit more challenging simply because we're trying to look at avenues and ways where we can have other sites linking to your site. And it just gives the search engines more links to be able to, to assess when they're doing their, their assessment. So how can we get more backlinks? Well, there's a couple different ways that we can do that pretty simply and easily. Some of them take a little bit more trial and error and work on our part. Um, one of them, of course, is just getting in on the directories. So if you have a business that you want, that is especially a local business, it's very important to get in on the local directories. So this might be the, the Google directory, um, the business console. Um, it could be like Yelp and um, all those different directories that you want to make sure your business is listed. Now, when you do that, however, if you are doing multiple directories, it is crucial to make sure that you are being identical on the information that you're posting. So if it's asking for address, you want to make sure that you type the address in the same as you do on the other directories so that there's that consistency across the board because a person might look at that and say, oh yeah, north is n period, but a um, another a search engine is not necessarily going to see that as the same. It creates inconsistencies that which can then affect then the way that it's indexed and the, the relevance that it's putting on your site. So if you're doing directories, just make sure you're being consistent with your content. Um, the next one is one of my favorites, which is social media because we always want to have included as part of our content marketing strategy, the social media strategy. And part of the reason why that is so powerful is because for one, there's two sides of backlinks in your social media. So for one, you wanna make sure that you have your domain and your website that you're wanting to direct your SEO relevance is listed on your profile. So if you haven't actually gone in and made sure that you have that included in your your social media profile, be sure to do that because just having it in your profile is part of that whole backlinking process. And then the other one is as you're doing your posting. So we want to be really strategic when you're posting in your social media to be then taking people with a call to action to your site. Now that could be to a blog article or it could be directly to a landing page or to your homepage. 
And so you can vary that up just a little bit. So we have multiple backlinks, we have multiple um, directions that are then being indexed and then taking people to your site. So, um, so that's part of a social media strategy. It's, it's, it's part of content marketing, but it's also then helping you with your SEO on backlinks. So uh, definitely be, and the key with social media though, with this one is to definitely be consistent. We wanna be super, super consistent in our, um, our, our schedule and what we're posting and when we're posting, how often we're posting. So um, just start with a specific schedule and then get consistent with that. And it's gonna over time really help you with those backlinks and that SEO um, relevance and authority that we were talking about. Okay, the next strategy is blogs. Now, we're going to talk about blogs a lot deeper in the next video, um, the next section, the final section of our SEO um, five part series that we're doing for you. Um, but blogging, of course, is also part of your backlink strategy. So um, inside your own blogs, even though we um, are not necessarily backlinking externally, you can also get some good traction by having cross links within your site. So if you write a blog article, don't be afraid to have links to other areas of your site. Now that can be to other blogs. So for example, in this five part series, that I'm doing with this video series. We're also doing blog articles for each one of these videos. And then we're referencing the other videos to the five part series so that they're linking back and forth to each other. So if someone happens to come to one of the articles, then they can continue your, their journey and link to the other sections of the site. So, so that's just another uh, a strategy of doing that. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing your blog articles, that if you have a topic that you talk about that you've written about in the past, go ahead and hyperlink it and have that backlink included in the article so that it can help people continue their journey. All right, so that is another option for backlinks. And then the other one is articles or um, uh, peer reviewed type of, of articles. So this is where this one's the one that's, that can be a little bit more challenging because you don't necessarily have complete control over this, but you can go to um, other credible sources. So that could be like the online magazines like Forbes or um, a Harvard Business Review or any of those online type of article um, and then submit an article or or have some some content that you're submitting and then you can um, you can get those backlinks by having your articles published. So that's another option to be able to, to get that. Also, affiliate and influencer marketing. So this is a really big one that is way often underutilized is using affiliate and influencer marketing where you have um, affiliates that are then sharing your content to their audiences. So this might be to their social media, posting it on their site, maybe doing a guest um, article or some, some guest appearance on their uh, blogs or any of those kind of things where then there's those references that take them back to your site. Now, affiliate and influencer marketing is so important that that's actually what we're talking about inside my Digital CEO Pro Academy membership this month. So we're diving deep into the, the hows and the philosophies and the strategies and everything that you need to know on really, really getting into affiliate and influencer marketing. It's way, way underutilized that I see across the board and it's such a powerful marketing avenue because it, it, it just handles so many different things. You're getting um, the opportunity to, to, to drive traffic to your site in, in, an, in a very low cost uh, way that is incredibly effective. Typically your affiliate influencer marketing is gonna be much more warm an audience than your paid ads or, or any of these other avenues that are just cold traffic that are trying to find your content. 
So if you're interested in that or more information about how to build your SEO or to, to, to grow your business, I invite you to check out my website at striveforsavvy.com and be sure to click on the, the section where we talk about the Digital CEO Pro Academy. It's, this, um, it's essentially where every month we dive deep into another topic. And this month is definitely a really good one because we're talking about affiliate and influencer marketing. So that in a nutshell is the core that you need to know about um, off-site SEO. So take a look at how are you getting your website out there on external sources that are then pointing to your site. Um, that's definitely something to look at to really round out the whole um, strategy of really helping with your content marketing strategy and your organic traffic strategies. So if you're new to this site, I would love to welcome you to subscribe to the channel. If you're serious about growing your online business and would love to be able to get notified of when these videos are being posted, we do post regularly. And so I welcome you to become part of the tribe. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below and then definitely check out the other videos that we have with this series so that you get an opportunity to completely round out all of the different aspects of making sure that you can and really, really drive that organic traffic because our organic traffic is our favorite. It's the stuff that we don't have to pay for. It just takes a little bit of extra effort and some time to build that up. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tune in on our next video where we wrap up this series and talk about blogging and how to use keywords and to be very strategic about those blogs to make sure that you're really optimizing that content marketing strategy and SEO. All right, so thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.